Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would try a new brow product from CoverGirl. In the past, I've really enjoyed their brow products, so I am curious to see if this is another one that I will love or not love so much. It is the Easy Breezy Brow 24-Hour Brow Ink Pen. Now this has been like a big trend lately, felt pens where you can just like draw on brow hairs. So we'll see how it goes. So if you guys would like to see swatches, hear more about this and see a try-on, then just keep watching. So this is what the packaging looks like. They sent me soft blonde, honey brown, soft brown, and rich brown. I don't think I'm going to be rich brown. And soft blonde is usually not enough. So I'm going to try out number 300 soft brown. I feel like honey brown is probably going to be a little too like warm tone. Now the claims on this is 24 hour precise tip draws hair like strokes transfer proof tint fade proof. Um, easily create full natural looking brows that last all day. Spooly tip combs through and tames brows. Super fine felt tip creates hair like strokes with ease, filling in gaps in sparse areas. 24 hour wear formula won't smudge or transfer natural looking fade proof tint. Create thick looking brows dermatologically tested for brow use only. Shake gently before use, apply to clean brows, free of foundation or residue. Use spoolie tip to brush brows into place. Use pen to draw hair like strokes. Following the natural direction of the hairs, store the tip, store the pen tip down. Well, that's good to know. If you don't read it all, you wouldn't know all those things. So we'll give it a light shake. And it says to spoolie through first. And this is actually a rubbery plasticky spoolie. It's not like a bristle spoolie and it's quite small. It's quite small in comparison to other ones that I have as far as width goes and it's a different material. So let's see how this goes. All right, so first it said to brush the hairs into place. And I did trim mine semi recently so they shouldn't be too crazy. Now let's see what this color looks like. Okay, might be a little dark actually. So maybe I should go to the first one after all, 100 soft blonde. All right, so here's soft blonde and here's soft brown. So I think soft brown, soft blonde will be the better option. All right, now it says to draw in hairs where there are sparse areas. So that would be towards the front and then towards the arch for me. Here goes nothing. So I just brushed through them again and I see another sparse spot right here that I missed. So I'm just gonna draw them in right here. I mean, they do look feathery. I'm not sure if the color is spot on, but for now it works. So here's before, you can definitely see the gaps between my somewhat blonde hairs. And then here it looks a bit more filled in, but it doesn't look completely realistic yet. Maybe it's a skill level that I have not mastered yet. Or maybe I need to blend a couple different colors together. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Yes, obviously I have dark blue bags, but uh, ignore that. What do you think of the brows? <laughs> I'm gonna do the other eye and see if there's a bit of a learning curve with this product. I think those look pretty good. They look realistic, but I don't know. It's like halfway between between block brows and feathery brows. So perhaps I just need like another product to define my actual hairs. Now that I have the shape and the sparse areas filled in, I like the way it looks. I'm just not used to doing my brows first. I would usually do like a brow pencil after I've already done my face makeup because I'm not very precise with my foundation application. But I think this looks pretty nice so far. I mean, I was able to even out my brow shape 
Um, this one usually had a much higher arch than this one, and I feel like I was able to bring it down a little with creating the fake hairs. I always have one eyebrow that goes up more than the other when I'm talking, and I can never remember which one it is. I think it's this one. So that one always looks higher to begin with, but I think this looks pretty good. Fairly natural, especially in the fronts. Maybe here it gets a little bit more like block brow y but in the front, it's nice. I could probably even, even feather it out a little bit more, but I really need something to cover the pores and my skin before I do that. And so as of right now, first impressions, this new brow product from CoverGirl is a win in my book. I really like how easy it was to use. I like the different color varieties that I've run into so far, and there's two other ones here. So when I go auburn in the fall, I have a shade that will match that. And if I ever go darker, which I may get brave as I get older and try different colors that are like more permanent, not just like a wash in color depositing shampoo type of thing. Um, so I have some other options if my hair color does change. But right now, I think that the soft blonde is the best one for me. Again, CoverGirl did not put the shade name on the product, only on the packaging. How are you supposed to know which shade you need to replace? If you don't have a shade name, it just says CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow, made in Germany, distributed from blah, 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 Cody Inc. And no shade name. So I would not know which of the shades these were when I wanted to repurchase them. That is my one gripe with CoverGirl. They have a habit of putting the shade either on the outer packaging or on the sticker that you tear off once you open the package, like the seal, and then you don't have it anymore. So CoverGirl, in the slim chance that you watch my YouTube videos, please start putting the shade name on the actual products and not the outer packaging. That would be very, very helpful for us consumers. Otherwise, like I said, this one is a thumbs up, a win in my book. You may see it in a future favorites video. We'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.